waterfall right near the sky tree. And this area is filled with cherry blossom trees. Welcome to Tokyo Tuesday. If you're a regular viewer, welcome back. I can barely fit this thing in the frame. Today I'm introducing you to one of my Tokyo secrets that should hopefully be perfectly timed. As you can see, we are right here by the sky tree with Tokyo Soromachi right here. And did you know that there's a secret park nearby? Ooh, best part is, it even has cherry blossoms. And speaking of cherry blossoms, some of them are already starting to bloom. Check this out. Now, in all fairness, this particular tree does blossom a little early. In fact, one of my favorite Instagram little video clips that I have, I took right there. But for as exciting as all the cherry blossom stuff is, that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today, I'm showing you one of my favorite spots to escape the hustle and bustle of Tokyo, especially in a crowded area like around the sky tree. Now, what you want to do to find this park, and I love this park. You want to come from where Soromachi is. From Soromachi, you want to come out and you want to head left over to this way. Now you can take it to this intersection here or you can go back here. The giveaway that lets you know that you have found the area of the park is this bridge right here. You can go straight over to the other side or you can come over to this side here where there's a kids park. And the best part is, this little park is shaped like a boat. I'm gonna look really weird for playing here, aren't I? Oh boy, there's a slide. I'd be crazy not to do the slide, right? We're doing the slide. That was a lot of fun. Okay, so now for the entrance to the park. Again, sky tree is right there. You can use this bridge here to get into the park. So there we go. Ohyogawa Shinsui Park. And you come through and you end up in this beautiful space, sandwiched by buildings on either side. But this park goes on forever. Okay, not actually forever. It goes down as far as an area called Kinshicho. But that's pretty far. I'm pretty sure this park is like two, three kilometers. Now for you outdoorsy fishing types, you'll notice there's this whole fenced off area here. This entire area is for fishing. So if you ever want to do some fishing, but you're stuck right in Tokyo, boom, sky tree right here. Additionally, this park is incredibly popular with cyclists and runners. Let's go up here. The entire park is also filled with these beautiful little nature-esque areas. Now in the summer months passing through here, these pools are actually filled with children. What they do is they clean it out in the spring so that come summer, kids can just enjoy and play and have a good time. There's also a fairly large children's park down here. On the weekends, this area can get kind of crowded with joggers and families and cyclists and everything like that. But if you make your way through here on a weekday, it's next to nobody. Well, there's some people, it's Tokyo. But it's one of those quiet little spots that you can use to just escape from the craziness. The Sky Tree, if you've ever been there or if you've ever seen it, is a great place, but it is so crowded and there are always so many people. You want to escape that for a few minutes? Take your coffee and go somewhere nice? This park is the place to do it. When you get to this section of the park, aside from having palm trees for some reason, a lot of these trees here are actually cherry blossom trees. And come spring, we're like a month away from cherry blossom season right now. This area gets so beautiful. In fact, the water here just gets lined with cherry blossom petals. And all down through here becomes entirely pink. I did consider coming out after the cherry blossoms have bloomed, but then it'll be too late. I want you guys to be able to come out and enjoy this while the cherry blossoms are here if you're gonna be in Japan. If not, I'll come back and do a vlog here or something. Another little spot here that I really, really love that gets 
even better at nighttime is this area right here. I bet you wouldn't have guessed that there's this little bamboo forest that you could hang out in right in the middle of Tokyo. And this spot gets so incredibly beautiful at night. It is absolutely fantastic for photography. But oh my goodness, there's still so much to show, so let's get going. I cannot state it enough, this bamboo area, daytime or nighttime, especially nighttime, it's just stunning. Another palm tree. I'm kind of having a lot of fun with this one today. It's once you get just a little bit deeper in the park that you find one of my favorite spots. All right, can you hear it? I can hear it, can you hear it? We're not even a kilometer from the sky tree. We're like 900 meters. Nobody expects a secret park with a waterfall, bamboo forest, and cherry blossom trees to be right there, right beside the sky tree. I absolutely love this place. <laughs> so while your natural reaction might be to come out and go down this way, because it is beautiful and you know, why wouldn't you go that way? Look at it. I recommend going back a little bit to where you came from and finding this little staircase here. So while everybody else is taking the main road there, you get your quiet little back path. Oh, seriously, I just love exploring Tokyo so much. The entire park is about two kilometers in length from end to end. It is absolutely filled to the brim with little things like this. Now, the first time that I ever found this park, I probably spent the better part of an hour just hanging out here because there are so many little hidden things like this one. In fact, even if I spent the better part of a day here today, I probably wouldn't be able to show you all the little hidden nooks, crannies, and secrets. And what's more is come spring and summer especially, at the end of this park, on the side close to the area known as Kinshicho, there are very commonly different types of cultural events and festivals and stuff like that held in the open space that is in this park. This is a great little hidden spot. Maybe it's not hidden, maybe you know about it, but if you didn't, I'm glad I could share. Who would have thought that there would be a place like this right near the sky tree, and most people don't even know. So that is pretty much it for today's Tokyo Tuesday. I really hope that you enjoyed this one. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button. If you're brand new, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys real soon. Check out this building. Nature is just totally taking it back.